Hi there, welcome to my channel if you're watching this on YouTube and welcome to my blog if you're watching this on Blogger. My name is Rebecca, my blogger name is Rebecca Beautiful Rose and this is the look that I've created for this video. If you like it, please remember to thumbs up, share, comment and of course subscribe. Now let's get started. moisturize my skin using this Mary Kay Time Wise moisturizer. I absolutely love this stuff because it leaves a really nice dewy finish and it just makes your skin really smooth in general. After I finished moisturizing I applied this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. After I applied the primer I decided to apply my CC cream, this is the green one. Um, L'Oreal Nude Magic CC Cream. Um, it doesn't actually come out green on your face, as you can probably tell, but the green in it cancels out any potential redness, and since my skin was kind of misbehaving and I wanted some extra coverage, I threw this into the mix. After I applied the CC Cream, I applied my foundation using my Pink Beauty Blender and my Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Um, I then tied my hair back because I didn't want to get any foundation in my hair. I apply a few drops of that onto the beauty blender and then I patted it lightly all over my face and neck and I got the extra coverage that I wanted. So after I did all of that I decided to spray some setting spray all over my face and neck. I know it says that it has a matte finish on the bottle but the finish is actually dewy but that's alright because it's a nice kind of dewy, it's not greasy dewy. Once I'm done with my foundation I then go on to do my eyebrows. Um, all I'm doing here is just filling in what I call my bald patches and making my eyebrows longer and fuller than what they are naturally at the moment um, and once I'm done doing all of those things I will go over them like brush through them with a spoolie brush and then I will apply more setting spray just to make them last longer I'm not going to talk you through what I'm doing with my eyeshadow because it's pretty self-explanatory and all the colours that I'm using and all the palettes that these colours come from are explained in the side notes and there really isn't anything, there's not much more to elaborate on other than just this is the colour that I'm using and you can see where I'm applying it and why. The one thing I will explain is that I put tape under my eyes just to make the, the sides cleaner shall we say, like smoother, sharper however you want to say it, um, that's pretty much it. I mean everything else is very much self-explanatory. If you have any specific questions you can leave them in the comments box. I'll be very happy to answer your questions. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. After I'm done applying eyeshadow, I like to apply mascara. Um, I like to apply my mascara before I apply my eyeliner. This is something I always do. Um, this is going to sound really weird, but I, I find it easier to adjust how, or decide rather, how thick I want my eyeliner to be. If I've already put on mascara, and I can see how long my lashes are with the mascara on. I know that sounds weird, but yeah, that's just one of my little weird things. This Sephora eyeliner is actually my favourite eyeliner, and no, this video is not sponsored. I love it so much because of the size of the brush. It's not too thick and it's not too thin, which means that I have more control over how thick or thin I want the line to be.
thanks for watching.